The new Pixel devices are amazing, no doubts about that. Along with Android 10.1, the new Pixel comes with some very cool exclusive features like Google Assistant, Pixel Launcher, etc. So if you're looking to get these Pixel exclusive features on your Android device, there are ways to get them. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'll show you how you can get Pixel features on almost any Android device. Do note that some of these features might require root access. So let's get started. First up is Pixel Launcher. The all new Pixel Launcher brings a polished and minimal look to the Pixel devices. The swipe up gesture to open the app door, quick search for apps are quite handy. And the Google search bar has been replaced with a more eloquent Google logo on the top left. And apart from being user friendly, it's easy on the battery too. The good news is, you can easily get the Pixel Launcher on any Android device by just installing an APK file. You can download the Pixel Launcher APK file from the link in the description below. Do make sure to go to Android Settings, Security, and enable installation from unknown sources. Once you're done, simply install the Pixel Launcher APK file. It's important to note that the Pixel Launcher might not play well with your device. It looks cool though. The Pixel devices include a cool new wallpaper picker. And if you've installed Pixel Launcher on your device, you must have noticed that when you tap on the wallpapers option, it crashes. Well, Google officially offers the new wallpaper picker as an app on the Play Store. You can just download the wallpapers app from Google and it should start working fine. With the new wallpapers app, you get a ton of cool new wallpapers. The Pixel Launcher APK file works fine, but it's very buggy, which makes it pretty unusable for the long term. Thankfully, there is an alternate solution. You can get the Pixel Launcher look with Nova Launcher. You will need Nova Launcher's latest beta version for this, along with the Prime version. And you can find the links to enroll to Nova Launcher beta or download the APK file in the description below. Once you install Nova Launcher Beta, set it as your default home screen then head to Nova Settings First go to Desktop and change the desktop grid size to 5x5 Then tap on icon layout and increase the icon size to 125%. Also scroll down below and change the page indicator to none. Change the search bar style to the new pixel launcher look. Then go back and head to app and widget drawers. and change the grid to 5x5. Icon size to 115%. Disable card background with the background set to white. Then enable swipe to open. And also enable search bar. Now go back and enter the dock option. Here tap on dog background and select the rectangle shape with color set to white and the transparency set to 75%. Also enable draw behind navigation bar and change the icon size to 115%. Now go back and tap on folders. Here change the folder style to end preview and the icon size to 115%. Lastly, install the Pixel Icon Pack from the Play Store. Once you're done, go to Nova Settings, Look and Feel, and select the new Icon Pack. That's it, you're done. Now head to your home screen, and you'll see that your home screen looks exactly like Pixels. With Nova also including Android 7.1's app shortcuts, 
it looks even better. On a pixel, you can just swipe on the fingerprint scanner to drop down the notification shade. It's simple but a really cool gesture. And you can get it on your device, provided your device does have a fingerprint scanner. All you need to do is download the fingerprint gestures app from XDA, install it, give it the necessary permissions, and just enable the fingerprint quick action in the app. The app also offers the option to only respond to enrolled fingerprints. This will ensure that only you can access the fingerprint gestures on your phone. Currently, the app features two quick actions, a single tap and a fast swipe. These actions can be customized to do a lot of different things. In my case, I have the single tap setup to go back and the fast swipe to expand notifications panel, just like the pixel. You can find the download link of the fingerprint gestures app in the description below. As you might have noticed, the Pixel devices come with a really cool new navigation bar which even animates. If you have a rooted device running Cyanogen mod, you can easily install the Pixel navbar theme to get the new looking navigation bar. Or if you have a rooted Nexus 5X or 6P, you can get the new navigation bar by flashing a zip file. However, if you own a non-rooted device, you can still get it but there's a lot of work involved. Firstly, you'll have to install navbar apps and also buy its full version through an in-app purchase so that you can set custom images in the navigation bar. Then take a screenshot on your device with the navigation bar's background black and transfer it to your PC or Mac. Also download the stock pixel buttons from the link in the description below. Then you will need to use a tool like GIMP, Photoshop or Paint.net that support transparent editing. You can then edit the navigation bar, add the pixel buttons while making the black background transparent. Once done, you can just go to navbar apps, select the custom image option and add the custom navigation buttons you have created. Once you are done, the new pixel style navigation bar will show up. While it obviously does not animate, it's the best you can get on a non-rooted device. It's also not a great solution considering the navigation bar tends to change when you open up a keyboard or something. But if you're really interested, we are including links to the transparent pixel style navigation bar for 720p and 1080p displays, so you won't have to create them. Like the cool new boot animation on the Google Pixel? Well, I like it too. And you can get it if you have a rooted device. You can download the pixels boot animation file from the link in the description below. It works on any Android smartphone. Once you've downloaded it, head to ES File Explorer or any other root file manager you're using. Rename the downloaded boot animation file to bootanimation.zip. Then copy it. Once done, go to the system folder. And open the media folder. Where you'll find a bootanimation.zip file. Just rename the file to bootanimation.zip.bak or anything else you want. Then just paste the pixel boot animation file here. Once done, press hold the bootanimation.zip file and tap on the more button. Then tap on properties. Here give the owner permission to read, write and execute while giving group and other permissions to read only. Once done, just reboot your device and you should see the cool new pixel boot animation. It certainly looks cool. If you have seen our Siri vs Google Assistant video, you must have noticed how good the assistant really is. It is functional and a lot of fun. Well, you can get Google Assistant on your device, provided you have Android Nougat installed and your device is rooted. Yeah, that's a lot of prerequisites. However, if you happen to have such a device, you can just open the file manager that supports root explorer. For instance, we are using ES file explorer. In the app, enable root explorer from the navigation drawer and set its permissions to read and write. 
Then navigate to the system folder and open the build.prop file. Then look for a line that says ro.product.model. Here tap on the three dot menu button and tap on edit. Just replace your device's name with pixel XL. Now scroll down to the bottom and add a line ro.opa.eligible underscore device is equal to true. You can find these lines in the description below. Once done, just reboot your device. When your device restarts, go to settings, then go to apps, Here scroll down and tap on the Google app. Then go to manage space and clear all data. Once you're done, just press hold the home button and you should see the Google Assistant welcome screen. Now you can just set it up and start talking. Well that's it, those were some ways to get the pixel features on your android device. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.